Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome to Obscura's TV. Now, I know it's been a while since we last uploaded things, and I am working on the next episode, but in the meantime, I thought it was important to throw up some content onto the channel since it's kind of been a while, a very long while. So today, we're going to be reacting to some Obscure TV, and we might be making this more regular showings for shows that don't really match the format of regular reviews, uh, for shows that are too long or too short for whatever reasons, or shows I just don't feel like uh, reviewing for whatever reason. But to help me today, I've brought over a real historian, or at least one who teaches history, my good friend Derek here. Hello. Enough, Derek. It's not about you. <laughs> so, anyway, today we are going to be looking at the show Sharp based off a series of books or something, but most importantly, starring our good friend Sean Bean. So, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, you know we're in for a good time when the show starts with a guitar riff. <laughs> there he is! There's the Bean! Front and focus. So that's gonna be a brown bass rifle. Uh -huh. Or brown bass, uh, smoothbore, not a rifle. Right yeah. Introducing Sharp's Rifles, backed up by Sean Bean. And to a lesser extent, Brian Cox and Dario O'Malley on drums. Portugal, 1809. Napoleon Bonaparte is master of Europe. His brother, Joseph, sits on the throne of Spain. Sir Arthur Wellesley, soon to be Lord Wellington. The new British commander has taken the city of something from the French. Now he rests his forces before making his advance into Spain. Okay. That explains absolutely nothing. They look like those, uh, like those Japanese lanterns you send up in the sky, like that stuff from Rapunzel. But the, the reason for it is to prevent shine. They're scouts and they're preventing... Because they have fancy, buckles on their They heads. have buckles and, sh and uh, metal that won't shine when they have that blocked off. You would think, though, if they had, if they were doing that all that trouble to hide their hats while they're scouting, they just wear less shiny hats. It's a valid point. I don't know. Or take the hat off. Or wear anything besides neon blue against the brown winter brush. <laughs> Sean, Sean Bean's gonna save the day. Oh, here comes the bean. They had one mission, one impossible task before retirement. They almost had it. They had the man corner, but the one thing they didn't account for was the bean. <laughs> Jesus! I guess he hit him and he slashed him with his back. Those are not that accurate. What is that, the Phantom Blade? What's your name? Sharp. Sergeant. Second Battalion, 95th Rifles, sir. I'm much obliged to you. You did me a damn good turn. Now I'm gonna do you a damn bad one. I'm giving you a field commission, Sharp. From this moment on, you're a lieutenant in the 95th. Major Hogan. Hogan? Like Hogan's Heroes? That's what it reminds me of. I, that's American, so there should be no connection. 
Sean Bean, I need you to help this guy escape a Nazi imprisonment camp. There'll be lots of hijinks and weird 70s mentalities, but I think you're just the man for the job. Come on then, you yellow bastards! I don't know what it is. Or maybe it's but I see a British in red. So the bankers won't and I, I just want to revolt against something. We need to find Rothschild. Like, do we have tea? I'd like to suggest. We don't have a harbor around here. Can we throw it in a lake? Throw it in the pond. What's that, Sharp? It's a shilling, sir. The King shilling, Sharp. Our last shilling. London's late, the army's broke, and we owe the lads two months' wages. Next week it'll be three. Bad for the morale. Hmm? And more of our Spanish irregular support will melt away without cash. Why is it in Spanish? Why do we have Spanish subtitles? Uh, so the Spanish officers can tell what they're talking about when they kick their ass? Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. Mission. I don't know if we know what Give us that shilling back. So it's like, hey, you're a badass, but these it. people are rich snobs, so watch yourself. Sir. Give me back the shilling. <laughs> <laughs> We're not losing that damn shilling. I got an appointment with the gumball machine at the end of the shift. That is anachronistic. Don't you use your fancy words in my house. <laughs> but seriously, what's anachronistic mean? Who's playing that damn trumpet? You did a good shot then, eh, Hagman? I can shoot, sir. Go on, then. You've defaced the king's uniform, Hagman. I can put you on a charge for that. Hey, shoot this hat. You shot this hat. I could write you up for that. Well, How dare you. Paris, from Wheatley, That's Oxenshire. good officer behavior. And previously. A courtier to my lord Bacchus, and an unremitting Student debtor. loans. Gets you every time. Even You're 200 years ago. Words, Harris. He's still paying them off today. Is there anything you can do? So, the chosen men, eh? Well, I didn't choose you. Oh, that's so but remember cool! This. I know you all. That's all I want. I'm happy. Sorry, we get sorry. five more lines like this in this episode, I'll be happy forever. Company! Oh! Is that way, sir? We'll wait for dawn. Sergeant Williams! Sir! We'll make camp now. Sir! Well, lads, make camp! Okay, so we've Let's seen the British Let's army forward. in Let's red, forward. and we've seen the French what in blue. The Why are these guys in green? Because they're sharpshooters. They're supposed to be in more uh, well, yes, camouflage. Take your men up that well, yes, they're sharpshooters. And see what the terrain is like for tomorrow. That's the colors of sharpshooters. I know they are sharps shooters, but why are they all in green? See? We haven't got a sharp officer, so we get pushed about like hot boys. <laughs> sharpshooters, sharp. Oh, screw you, that was funny. Also, this is supposed to be camouflage? Compared to red, it is. Shoot him in the back. Wait, is there someone in those bushes? I can't tell them. Whoa! Yeah, how's that camouflage working out for you, jackass? Good job. Oh, 
kill him. He got cut we by never, a cunt. The CGI is terrible. Yeah, not, even, you, not even getting close to hitting him. Yeah, you can totally see the blue screen. Uh oh. Down goes our major. Oh my god. Wait, okay, so these guys are in green too. Only the officer is in, is in green. Hey, now they're in English. <laughs> English subtitles. What? See? English. Oh my god! Speaking Spanish. The English are subtitled to Spanish. The Spanish are subtitled to English. Who is this movie for? And everybody's being killed by the French. We have not heard speak yet. Standard. Oh man. Oh, they weren't here to kill you. It's just a really intense game of capture the flag. Young Perkins, sir. What's the sound? No, no. Oh, knife throw! Oh my god, is that Sean Bean? Perkins, I want you to protect this pennant with your life. Yes, sir. Never say die, Perkins. Never again, sir. God! That's the second cool Sean Bean line. Okay, we're adding a tally. We're officially adding a tally of cool lines. It's gonna be on the end of the screen, right here. We're up to two. How many, I want you... How many can we get in one episode? Can we break ten? We're gonna damn well try. That's the man we need. That's the man you need. <laughs> Even he's like, girl, <laughs> keep it in your pants. You're in my light, damn you, Hagman. Don't Where interrupt my drawing. But it's Captain Murray. Well, did you know that Sean Bean's been married he's five times? Him. Really? So he said that it was because he's romantic, and that he'd do it all over again if he had the chance. Okay, yeah. Not like a lot of ladies could re refuse a proposal Harris. from Sean Bean anyway. Wait. Oh my god, do you think that's why he dies in all his movies? Why? Because he's faking his death and trying to get out of alimony payments! That's a conspiracy theory. Oh my god, we figured it out! Sorry to be so much trouble. I know how hard it must be. It is hard being Sean Bean. Sorry. Of course I don't. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of some practical advice after I've gone. Um, that. That's so good. <laughs> like in every movie, they yes. always got like the right thing to say. And then they die. Get Patrick Hart right here, this guy's side. like, I'm dying, and I'm supposed to say something cool, but That's I can't even think of anything. Much more realistic. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's so good. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. You did well today, Sean. You can see his nose hair. <laughs> I didn't mind you, too, sir. That is some four quay quality. 
4K quality there. Man dying, trying to give his last words, imparting vice and the thesis of the whole show. And it's like, you guys got some wicked nose hairs. Can't focus. What are you doing here? And don't tell me a stupid lie about being lost a hundred miles behind French lines, Lieutenant. We are looking for the village of Casantigua. That is all I can tell you. If you were French, I would take a knife and you would tell me all I wanted to know. That we are allies. Allies? Do allies keep secrets from each other? Lovers keep secrets from each other. <gasps> That's number three. Yet they still make love. That's number three! That's number three! Right out of the player's handbook! Better be the friend. Ugh, look at that flag. I'm gonna wash my dishes with that rag. Wait a minute. What, why are they stopping to watch? And I just... Oh! <gasps> the gunpowder and the pit of iron! Speak French, Harris. Oui, certainement. Je parle très bien. That'll do. I want two boards and some pitch. Hagman, I want a lantern, a pound of gunpowder, and a pound of old iron. Cooper, go on sentry. That's why he's called Sharp. He never misses a beat. Bravo. Why is that colonel chasing you? He's chasing you. A full troop of French cavalry. A full colonel. Deal. Sharp. He just knows He's how to sharp. make friends. I don't think you're escorting me. I think I'm escorting you, amigos. That's number four. <laughs> Ooh! And you know what? It was technically not a cool line, but I'm putting the exploding building on one, two. We're up to five. We're halfway to breaking ten. Well, even... Even the Spanish are like impressive. Oh yeah.